buongiorno. It is, honey, what's today? What day is today? Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, the 23rd. And we are going to do a day in the life vlog because so many people have been requesting it. And we aim to please um, on this channel. Um, some of you might know if you follow me on social media, which you should. Uh, I was in a bit of an accident about a, a little over a week ago. Um, not gonna talk too much about it, but anyway, this is what this bump here is about. They glued me up really well because this was all open, so feel happy about that. Um, I wasn't feeling my best all week last week, but I am determined to get my spunk back and you know, get back to my normal routine. So yesterday was the first day I worked out in a week and I felt really good. Today is day two. It's pretty early still. I think it's only about seven something in the morning. Um, we have a full, long, long day ahead of us. Um, lots of busy things to do, back to work. And um, we're gonna take you along for the ride. And I'm waiting for my girlfriend to come over because she works out with me, so. And yes, I have no makeup on, uh, but this is real life. And in the mornings when I work out, I have no makeup on. So, um, but yeah, if I get a lot of questions from people say, how do you keep motivated to work out and things like that? Uh, find a friend, you know, find a friend that's on the same schedule as you are, that lives close to you. We're very fortunate to live a lot, very close to a lot of our friends and family, or well, Joe's family. Um, and I have a couple girlfriends of mine who work out with me almost every single day, which makes it easy. But ultimately, how you feel after you work out should be your best motivation. Once you start working out enough, you'll know what that feeling is like. And you'll kind of look forward to doing it every day. And it'll just become part of your routines, like brushing your teeth. It's just something you do. Um, my head hurts, so i got to take some aspirin. And... Um, and then I'm gonna get to working out, and yeah, we're gonna take you with us for the rest of the day. I just got done my workout, and I am, I know what you're thinking to yourself. Lara, you've never looked so glamorous in your life. And I have to agree with you. But I like to eat breakfast as soon as I'm done working out because, you know, my adrenaline is high and my body needs to eat. I'm hungry, so it's time to eat breakfast. And I'm gonna show you what I'm having, which is, I've been, right back on my oatmeal kick lately. I don't know what it is, um, but that's what I'm having today. I'm having, let me turn that off. I'm having my oatmeal. I have a recipe on this on my main channel, laurenandkitchen.com. I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it yet, but it's basically, there you go. Oatmeal cooked with almond milk, and, and then I've got fresh um, blueberries that are in season. They're coming right out of Hamilton, which is about 10 minutes away from where we live. A nice ripe banana and some cinnamon. No sweetener, just because the blueberries are really sweet. And my Pooh Bear is eating um, his cereal, which that is kind of strange because you never eat cereal for breakfast. This is a weird moment. You never ever, he never has eaten cereal for breakfast. He always eats, that's like his sometimes nighttime treat, um, which if you've seen our other vlog, you'll know. But he never eats it for breakfast. I've got some banana muffins that I made. Um, my head hurts, so it's like I'm, I'm, I keep forgetting what I want to say. Oh, I made some banana muffins not too long ago. It was a day ago, so, um, which we've got to snack on. He ate that for breakfast yesterday. Actually, I made them, today's Tuesday. I made them Sunday night because uh, I like to bake a lot on the weekends. And usually, like, if we've got baked goods, he'll just grab something on the go because he's always up and running and moving around and working on stuff. But today, he's sitting down having cereal with me. So we're going to eat and then I'm going to get ready, run some errands and possibly take you with me. So I'm heading down to the grocery store to pick up a few things Laura wanted me to get for her master chef hangout tonight for her cook along. It's, uh, she needs some cilantro, some red cabbage and some tortillas. And the funny thing is cilantro, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, usually is something we never can find in our grocery store, which is baffling because there's like, uh, 10 farms on the way to the grocery store that have it in the ground, but yet it never seems to make it to the store. Any time of year that I go, it's always like the hard thing to find. Uh, luckily, it's only three ingredients because I have like a three ingredient list that I can carry in my mind. And then beyond that, 
it's going to be a text message or else something's going to be missing. All right, I'm just getting some oh, I'm just getting some graphics together. The live now graphics to try and uh let Lars audience know when uh her hangout starts tonight. So I have a little blinking graphic I'm putting together just to let people know and this will show up on her website. And I also have, you know, the one it'll post out on her fan, her fan page. What? And I was able to found, find cilantro, which is crazy because uh, that's like a major achievement for me at this point. I'm getting all my ingredients ready to set up for the Master Chef um, cook along. I tried to cover my brewery request. It's like, how'd I do? It's still dark. It's very dark. I, I know. I tried to. That stuff on there. Yeah, I tried to put. I tried to put a bunch of different foundations and concealer on it, but as best as I could do. I so think you need to get a paint roller <laughs> and just spackle. Yeah. Right. So anyway, it's about five o'clock now. I'm not very good. I'm not a very good vlogger yet. I'm. You didn't really miss a whole lot. I've just been cleaning and getting things ready. Um. I have gum in my mouth, which I shouldn't. But anyways, that's what we're doing. We're about to get to, we're about to go downstairs and set some stuff up. And obviously, my hair is not done yet. Don't mind the ugly gray scrunchie. Um, I'm gonna do my hair last minute. Just wanted to keep it out and out of the way until then. We just finished our Master Chef live cook along. Went really well. Super fun. Now on to the aftermath of having to clean this all up. Not fun, my friend. What? what? Not fun. But that's the least. That's a part of like the least. Everything else is pretty awesome. So first of all, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Take some aspirin because my head feels like it might fall off at any time. And then on to cleaning, and then. At 1.30 in the morning, which right now it's about 8 o'clock, we have to go pick up my father-in-law at the airport, so we'll take you with us. It is 11 p.m. and we just got done cleaning everything up downstairs. What are you doing? <laughs> I just do my shit go on. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> he walks around all the time like this. <laughs> Do it again. Not gonna happen. <laughs> All the time. In the car, he loop like randomly. Anyways, it's 11 o'clock. He's making me coffee because we have to stay up to go pick up his dad from the airport at 1.30 in the morning. And the airport's an hour away. So by the time I'll get back after they get all their luggage and everything, it'll be about 3 a.m. And then I gotta get up at 7 to work out with my girlfriends. So, right now I am checking my latest video and doing some work. Work has never done around here. Um, but yeah, the Master Chef thing went really well. We had so much fun with Jordan and everybody that tuned in. Thank you so much to everyone that was there. Um, I'm excited to do the next one, which is in a couple weeks. So make sure you uh, follow me on um, social media, Facebook and Twitter and all that to find out when the next one is. And yeah, he's making me coffee because I need to stay up. And there's a mosquito in here. I had to have my hair pulled back, and I haven't had my hair pulled back tight since. Don't do it again. The chicken dance again. Chicken. You wanna do it now? I haven't had my hair pulled back tight since I got hit right here. I have a bruise all up in here as well. I'm, I was like smiling and I was having a really good time with everyone but at the same time my hair was pulled back tight for the first time in like over a week. I, by the end of it I wanted to scream it hurt so bad. So I took some aspirin um, and I just kind of, now I was like I need to sit back and relax because I've been running around getting everything ready for the shoot, cleaning up, making sure the guys that were here setting everything up, had everything that they needed, and Joe was going to the supermarket to get some things that I couldn't find the other day when I went, which was yesterday. So, yeah, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do some more work, and then we're gonna head off to the airport, 
and then I'm gonna take you with us. And that's it. <laughs> so I got these fig trees for Laura because she loves figs. And I'm not a real big fig person. I hardly ever eat them. But this one right here was not looking so good when I brought it home. I don't know if it was in shock because it was in the store. Like it was in like underneath in the shade. But anyway, it's perking up a little bit. So they have fruit. Hopefully they're, um, hopefully they don't get attacked by some kind of insect, which has been a big problem out here for us lately. We've had a lot of insect problems after our fruits and vegetables. It's like you can't even see you. You can't see me. I'm gonna. Now you can. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So for the car in Italy, I didn't get the um, insurance yet. I have to re uh, do that. But I don't think I can check out the box. Yeah, we definitely need to get the insurance. Um, we. And also, I there's guess... a drop box for the for the uh, key because we're gonna leave at like four in the morning to come home. And they didn't. Um, seem to know on the phone whether there was a drop box so I need you to ask in Italian. Oh, okay. Biggie. I'll take care of it. It's so funny because um, I come from Naples. So it's like southern part of Italy and we speak the dialect. Parlamana Mulitano. So I know people always say that Italian like rest a lot with their hands. I think it's particularly true when it comes to Napolitani. Because as one myself, I find that I, I find, like if I speak to someone that's Italian, you know, if I speak to an Italian person that's from, you know, Milan or even Rome, to be honest, they're not as expressive as I am. I even, I mean, even I know it. Um, and I always get a kick out of it. In fact, once a friend of ours, Mike, held my hands in the back of my, like in my back, and said, "Speak an Italian with with your hands being tied to the back to your back." And I was kicking my feet. Like there's some something. I don't know. It's weird. But so what are you gonna uh, say when you get there? I'm gonna say now. I want to hear what you're gonna say. What are you gonna say in Italian? I want to know. I'm not gonna say now. It's like not relevant to this conversation anymore. You're afraid to speak Italian? It's not that I'm afraid to speak Italian. It's... I don't want to speak Italian right here, right now. Well, then I'll never learn. No. Io ti insegno. Ogni giorno. E tu non mi capisci. See, now that was like you'll never Italian. understand when you're on no. this journey to the moon. I said I teach you all the time right here, baby. Oh, you can guess. Anyways, we're at Wawa getting gas on the way to the airport. It is... 1221 and uh yeah on the way we go you want anything in there no i have to mention that no i don't have horrible fashion uh sense this is i'm wearing pajamas i was i looked back at the clip and i was like oh i probably should have explained the funny shirt i'm wearing it's just a pajama shirt i'm not getting out of the car or anything so it's really late i took a shower took off my makeup, you know, wash my face and everything, put pajamas on, because when I get home, I brush my teeth, because when I get home, I'm gonna crawl right into bed, because I'm exhausted, uh, and my head is pounding. I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep, but I'm gonna keep this one company. But, yeah, I like my pajamas. I don't know what's up with the sleeves, but this, I've had this shirt for so long, and it's so comfortable. I think I got it at Target years ago. I don't even know. But, yeah. And we are at the airport. I need to see well. I'm not quite sure where they are. But, what terminal? Like, where? They should be, I think, in D. Actually, I hope. This is international, so they won't be here. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna pick them up and then head home. It is 1.20 right now, so they should be coming out in about 10 minutes. He, Joe, always estimates time perfectly. I don't know how you do that. We'll see. But if he says it's like- It's hard to be sure with that baggage claim. But that's we'll true, but if he says like, Oh, I'll be there in 27 minutes. He will be there in 27 minutes. He will estimate 
a time to be somewhere so perfectly it shocks me every single time and people always know that about him so if we're heading somewhere and it, someone will text me and say what's your ETA and he'll say in 18 minutes and 42 seconds we will be there and then they'll time us it works every time it's probably not too dark for you to see right now but all right we're gonna pick him up and head home we just got home it is almost three o'clock in the morning it's been hey in three and a half hours it'll be 24 hours that i've been awake on that note i'm gonna go to bed my honey bunny is already pretty much throwing himself into bed because we're exhausted we hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us today i know we're not very good at it but so many of you have asked for a day in the life, so we tried to do our best. We had a very busy and hectic day, and there were a lot of people here. Um, there were some people here, so we couldn't really vlog as we were getting things ready for um, the shoot that we did for the hangout. So, hope you'll forgive us, and if you like more of these videos, thumbs up and let us know. Now that I'm starting to feel a bit better with my head injury, I'm waiting for this swelling this back here to go down a bit because this is the part that hurts the most um i feel like I'm, i'll be getting slowly back into my routine and and hoping to do more videos on for this channel i want to definitely do uh, a video on my meal planning which i'm going to hopefully try to film tomorrow or the day after i just have to check my calendar because i'm mm, i have to go to new york either tomorrow or the next day i'm not i think it's the next day Anyways, we hope you enjoy spending the day with us, and we'll see you real soon, guys. Arrivederci.